The market receives a welcome gift this week in lower interest rates. We're going to talk about that and more in this week's update. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermer Real Estate. Before I tell you about who I am, if you've watched this channel multiple times in the past and have yet to hit the subscribe button, yet to share it with your friends, please do so. I have been in the business for 34 years and I've been an avid study of the real estate market. And we're going to take that information that we use to help our clients make smart buying and selling decisions and share it with you this week so you can do the same. We're going to talk about four key factors for Eastside Real Estates. We're going to talk about rates for sale and pending, months of inventory, and median sales price. First up is interest rates. Good news, rates are moving in the right direction. We're down to 7.69. The Feds met today, and for the second time uh, in, in as many months, they have decided to leave rates alone. The Feds control the overnight rate, which influences the cost of the 10-year Treasury, which is the basis that the 30-year fixed mortgage is on. So the 10-year Treasury's taken some market improvements over the last couple days, and that's a good sign for our marketplace. Uh, we're still sitting closer to that 52-week high, but we're off of the 8% mark at this stage, and that's good news. Active listings. Well, this is rolling down. We're down 34% from 2022, and it is the fourth quarter as sell sellers start to settle in, or really we see less sellers coming to market this time of year. Our, our listings are traditionally going to roll down, and that's good news for our marketplace. Normal is always good. Our pending sales, we did take a bit of a hit in pending sales last week, and I think buyers were sitting on the fence hoping that rates would come down. Thankfully, that news has shown up, so hopefully we'll see pendings come back up this next week. Time will tell on that number. Our uh, months of inventory ticked up a little bit because of our pendings dropping off. We're sitting at 1.86. Anything under two is still favoring a seller, so we still are technically in a seller's market at this point, uh, but not a strong one. However, we're still better than we were a year ago at 2.38, so that's good news. Uh, lastly, our median price had a nice bump up uh, from the week before. We're up 8%, and we still remain up 4% from 2022. So good news for the marketplace as a whole, and anytime we see rates correcting, that's also good news. If you like what we have to say, please hit us up if you've got questions. Uh, we're here to help you help you understand the marketplace, help you understand the decisions you need to make to make a smart real estate move. Again, if you like what we have to say, please hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, and we'll talk with you next week. Take care.